Hey friends, welcome back. Today is a collaboration video with Mimi's Mixed Bag. Oh my gosh, I love her channel so much. And we have been YouTube buddies probably since my channel started. She is amazing and please go check out Mimi's Mixed Bag after this video. So today's collaboration video, so much fun, is going to be a Valentine's tear tray using DIYs and Dollar Tree items. So DIY number one. So I got these letters actually from a Goodwill. And it was a box of letters, 10 cents a letter. And there, since it was at Goodwill, I <laughs> it's just a mi mishmash, I guess, of just different letters. Not the whole alphabet. So I had to be a little creative here. And I did not have an E. <laughs> So we're going to do a little cute love sign, but we're going to spell love L-U-V instead of L-O-V-E. So you can also get these letters at Dollar General. I think they're a dollar a piece. And I took two L's, two U's, two V's. The first set I painted in red. And then the second set I painted in white. And this is such an easy, cute, little project. Oh my gosh. Um, affordable and you won't believe how this turns out. So I wanted to not be like everybody else, of course, and do something different. So the white ones I put um, going in a row. I attached them together with breaking some popsicle sticks, just little pieces, and hot glue to get them to stay together. And I just kind of put the popsicle stick where it would meet, but you wouldn't see it. Hopefully that makes sense. So I kind of kitty cornered it with the L and the U, and I did it the same way with the U and the V. And don't worry about this because we're just keeping it together right now. The next step will really hold it together. So then I took my red and I wanted this to be different. So I was kind of playing around with positioning these um, where it wasn't the same, just going straight across. I wanted it kind of kitty corner, diagonal. As you can see on the U, I had a little bit of red paint on the back, which I didn't notice until I put it on the white. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in and fix that. But once I had this the way I wanted it, then I just hot glued the red L, the red U, and the red V on top of the white one. And I do come back in and fix my little red mistake right there with a little bit of white paint. Easy fix. <laughs> I flipped it over and I reinforced it with a little bit of hot glue so this baby ain't going anywhere. Then I came in with my white paint again and I'm kind of just drawing hearts random all over the red letters. I think that's so cute. It really brings out um, the white background when you're adding the little red hearts and no rhyme or reason. Some are full hearts, some I'm doing off the sides. Just coming in and adding random red hearts. And look at the cuteness factor. It just ups it, don't you think? <laughs> then I come in with some red paint and I just kind of highlight in the corners of these hearts to really make them pop.
Originally, I was just gonna do this and that would be done. But then I remembered I had these grateful pumpkin signs on stands from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna save the pumpkin for another project, but I wanted the base. Now, if you don't have these, this can also be achieved using Jenga blocks. And I just wanted to use my little crafting tool that I got from Dollar Tree, which is amazing. <laughs> I love this little thing. It's a little cutter. And I just got the little um, pieces of wood that got in between there out with that. And I painted the base red. And then I'm going to hot glue this down so that my little love sign has a stand and will stand up on my tear tray. I had these little squares from Dollar Tree and just to reinforce the back of it, I used my little tool to cut a square. Yes, it will cut right through it with a little force. <laughs> and I did glue half squares down to the back just to reinforce this and make sure it's not gonna fall over. So cute. It'll look so cute on my Valentine's tear tray. On to DIY number two. So this one is so much fun using socks from Dollar Tree. Over the Christmas holiday, I had bought these cute little socks and didn't end up using them. And what's great about leftover Christmas decor is it's easily turned into Valentine's decor. So right now I'm going to show you four ways. <laughs> I'm making little heart um, squishies. I don't know what to call them. But that blue foam was actually, <laughs> this is funny. Um, what is it? That cooling bed mattress topper we had bought for our camper and we had to cut it down to size. And since I don't throw anything away because I can usually almost use anything for my crafting uh, room, the foam that I had cut off of that bed, <laughs> I used to stuff these little hearts. What is the funniest thing that you have saved instead of throwing away for your crafting ideas or crafting room? Let me know in the comments below. So you can, of course, use pillow stuffing. You can use anything to stuff these little hearts. But I'm going to just show you four different ways that I made these cute little hearts out of socks. Some of them I sewed, some of them I hot glued. These are meant to be imperfect hearts. They're not meant to be totally perfect hearts. As you can see, that is what's so cute about them. And you can use these on your tiered tray. I have a dough bowl that I'm going to show you at the end that I put these in. But these are so easy and because they're so cute being imperfect. You can basically do these any way you want. But I'm going to show you a few different ways using hot glue and thread. There's no one like you, my little girl. Your eyes so blue under those brown curls Soon you're on your way, promise me that you know The world is yours, strike them with your It's your life Rocks are meant to be picked 
Act of Enthrone New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown You know where to go if you follow hearts are just so stinking cute and so easy to make. So DIY number three. Yes, I'm excited about this one. 
because it's so easy using Jenga blocks and some scrabble pieces. I made this cute little XOXO sign for my tray. And all you have to do is take four Jenga pieces, use some wood glue and glue those together. You want to glue two sets of two. Then you want to take one and glue it to the back of the other one so that it makes kind of like a scrabble tray so it's sticking up behind it okay then all you have to do is paint it now i bought a bunch of scrabble pieces off of um probably ebay a while back um and I always look for Scrabble games when I'm at the Goodwill too. But if you have just some wooden blocks, you could do that from the Dollar Tree as well. As you can see, I was missing an X, so I just used my little pen and created one. And then I just added some paint to these. This is such an easy project and it turns out so cute. <laughs> So mini, so cute. And I did sand a little bit of it just to distress it a little bit. But I mean, this costs less than probably a dollar to make because you get a lot of Jenica blocks for a dollar. And like I said, if you are like me and love Scrabble pieces and are always looking for them, you probably have those on hand. But those little blocks from Dollar Tree would work as well. DIY number four is a DIY I've been wanting to do for many years and haven't. This is going to be using Dollar Tree items and items from Hobby Lobby, the Tim Holtz collection. And I'm going to make a steampunk heart uh, little, I guess it would be sign. Yeah. So I start off by painting one of those Dollar Tree houses in copper. I leave that square on because it's almost impossible to remove and I just paint the whole house copper. Then I come back in and use some of the um, little embellishments that I have gotten through the years from Hobby Lobby, keys and clocks and little pl uh, plates. And we're just gonna make a steampunk heart on this house. So I take a marker and I kind of just freehand a heart just so I can kind of have somewhat of an idea of where to place these. And then I come in with hot glue and I just start placing all of the embellishments until I fill in the heart. Um, I don't know if you guys like steampunk. I absolutely love steampunk decor. <laughs> it's different, unique, and so much fun to make. So like I said, I'm just going to use hot glue and I'm just going to start placing items all over until that heart is filled in. As a young girl, it feels were mine. 
We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Once I have the heart filled in, I come in with some copper and some bronze and I just start going over it. And then I come in with the red and I go around the edges and I also go over the front of the house. My little steampunk house is kind of like a half heart because it is going off the edges, but I think this is unique and different and I love how this turned out. I can't wait to make another one. DIY number five. Oh, I love making DIYs for tear trays. They're so much fun. And sometimes it's the simplest little things that add so much character to your tray. So I had gotten these little planters. I It might be be from Dollar Tree but it might be from Dollar General. Either way it was only a dollar. So I'm going to come in with some copper paint and I'm going to paint that planter just one coat. Then I'm going to at first, I don't know why, I was going to attempt to hand paint all of these leaves and then I remembered I had some red spray paint which is a much better idea because look at I'm just going crazy getting all messy and having fun playing in the paint but still that would have taken me a long time so I laid these babies out and I spray painted them <laughs> which worked out a lot better. I didn't mind if some of the green still showed because that's fine. If you want full coverage I would suggest doing two coats of spray paint. So once I had those painted I went back to my little planter and once they were dried I just started putting them back on the stems. This is just going to be for like a pop of color plus to have um, like a little plant on my tear tray and once I had those into place I grabbed some of my nautical rope to make little handles on each side and some of my love ribbon to put across the planter and you're done. You have a cute little Valentine's little planter for your tear tray. DIY number six, using this little love sign from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to revamp it and really make this, just transform it, I guess. 
So I had gotten the sign, I think, last year during Valentine's Day. Hopefully Dollar Tree is still selling them. But I wanted to put these two together and just make one little Valentine sign. So I had to start off by removing the edge of where the welcome was hanging out over so i grabbed my trusty little cutter and kind of just kept going back and forth until i could get that edge off then i used a little sandpaper to smooth it out i only have to do one of the edges because the other one will be hidden by the other sign and then this sign you can pretty much like roll with it just make it your own because you can decorate it any way you want but i had some um what is that cloth? I don't know. I'm going blank. Red cloth and white cloth. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of it in a minute. But um, I laid out my little hearts and I'm going to cover them in the cloth, which I did get from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use my glue stick to do that. I covered the front and the back with the red felt. Felt, that's what it's called. I don't know why I go blank every time I wanna tell you guys how I do something. <laughs> so then I got the wacky idea to sand the edges of the felt in the sign and it creates such a cool effect because it kinda of gets it frayed and you can see the white show through and I just thought this looked so different and so unique. Look how cool that looks and I left that alone. Then I came in with my other heart and I just glued the one that I sanded on top of the bigger heart. That's, I just love that effect that who would have thought sanding felt. So I glued those two pieces together and then I just start wrapping it in my berry twine, which I had left over from Christmas. I had red and white. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that you buy for Christmas can transfer over to Valentine's because it's the same colors. I did grab some white felt and I cut out some hearts to put on top of it. Then I wrapped my berry wreath around it and added a bow. So easy. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Okay, so now we're going to see how to use just 
items from the Dollar Tree and ramp them up a little bit for your tiered tray. My favorite is these little bags. Oh my gosh, these little burlap bags with the pink and red hearts are adorable. I'm going to show you how I put sand in one and how I put pinto beans in the other one. I'm kind of liking the sand better than the pinto beans. So I grabbed a bag of sand from the Dollar Tree, filled it up, easy peasy, tie it in a knot, you're done. Now these can stand up in a tray or lay down and I really am liking the sand but I wanted to see the difference between sand and pinto beans or any kind of bean so again this is from the Dollar Tree I filled it up with pinto beans and I think I just like how the sand is more smushy <laughs> fun to play with <laughs> Um, the pinto beans work just as well though and you can have these bags standing or I have them in my dough bowl which I'll show you at the end. I think the sand is just more squishy just a little bit more fun to play with but either way so stinking cute and just for a couple bucks and you have these adorable little burlap bags with hearts on them. Yeah. If your tiered tray is in your kitchen like mine is, salt and pepper shakers are a great little addition to it. And you can style these any way you want. I have some tablescape little hearts that I fill it. I also have these like plastic hearts I put in there. And you can just either leave the top silver, you could paint the top white, um, you could paint half of the bottom of these white. I opted, since I was leaving the top silver, to take this one step further, and I grabbed one of the galvanized hearts that come on pretty much so many different Dollar Tree signs. <laughs> I grabbed one of their felt hearts and I kind of just glued the salt and pepper shakers together and added a really cute galvanizing felt sticker heart to the front of it and it's so cute but you don't even have to take this one step further you could leave each individual one just by itself and fill them up with the tablescapes and that's just so cute but salt and pepper shakers are a really great addition to your tear tray and they can be styled so many different ways <music> Another super simple Valentine's decor from Dollar Tree is the buckets. I think you get two or three in a package. They're in the wedding aisle and you can get these picks. So I just, I think they sell pink and red if I'm not mistaken. So I just cut these different lengths and I put a foam floral ball inside the bucket and I just started putting the picks in. Like I said, I did different lengths and I actually put the handle up so that some of the picks could be in front and some could be behind it and that kind of holds them in place. And this is just adorable. You just fill the little bucket with picks and put it on your tray. If you like rustic country, these little heart 
wreaths are so cute and just get a heart chalkboard you get a few in each pack so actually this project probably is like under a dollar to make put the two together and draw your favorite valentine saying on it this is super easy just use a chalk marker or a paint pen you can write so many cute little um conversation heart sayings on here i put be mine on this and it kind of i love incorporating different styles on my tear tray so you'll see some rustic country some traditional i even with my um oh i went blank my mind i swear people don't get old because you just like lose your train of thought so dang quick um the house that i did yeah i can't even think right now too funny my steampunk house <laughs> that's on here crazy anyway here's how it all came together i actually last week's video if you saw when i made the cherry tree it fits perfect on the top of my tear tray so to start my tear tray off is my cherry tree if you haven't seen that video go check it out because this turns out so cute and then love is front and center um my candy cane tree that i did for christmas i kept those trees because they're red and white and i thought they looked super cute on top as well and there's the bucket with the hearts and xoxo that is on a dollar tree doll chair that i did in my candy cane video as well like i said earlier you can incorporate your few of your christmas items or maybe things you bought that you didn't get around to making into valentine's it's awesome there's my steampunk house and the other house is a candy cane um again from christmas there's my little floral and my love sign and my salt and pepper shakers and i kept the white and the berry wreaths on my tray um from when i did my candy cane so yeah this is so cute. Valentine's Day is so much fun to decorate for. Um, it's like letting you know spring is coming and I can't wait to do Easter DIYs, but I'm getting ahead of myself. There's the dough bowl I got for Christmas and I put the bean bags and the little fuzzy sock hearts in it. So cute. I'm also going to show you, I went in my attic and I grabbed some of my Valentine's decor from last year and if you'd like your tiered tray to be a little bit fuller a little bit more to it I grabbed some of those hearts and put them in the vase I put some conversation hearts on the bottom I grabbed another sign from last year and just added just a little bit more decor to the tiered tray um, so here's like if you like just minimal I showed you and if you like a little bit more to your tiered tray um, no matter what it's so cute. The Papa Red, it makes me smile just like my candy cane tear tray did. <laughs> and that I love that dollhouse chair. I got to get me some more of those. I want to make one for Easter. And yeah, it's just so cute. So thank you Mimi's Mixed Bag for doing this collaboration with me. Now go check out her video. I'm sure it's amazing because she's such a sweet and wonderful lady. I love you guys. Have a blessed and wonderful week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye y'all.